This video is about types of connective tissue. Connective tissue is one of the type of the tissue. Connective tissue basically function is, as the name indicates, tissues are the group of organized cells that function together and to perform a specific different job. So connective tissue basically, connective tissue are the group of organized cells that perform a variety of different functions. So these, among these functions, one of the main important functions of the connective tissue is that they're involved in that they connect different organs and tissues together. But besides this, they have a lot of other functions. And connective tissues have a variety of different types. So these connective tissues, what are the different types of the connective tissues that perform a wide variety of function these connective tissue are connective tissue proper cartilage bone and blood so these are the four different types of connective tissue that perform the different function so what are the connective tissue proper so connective tissue proper as they composed of the they have the cell uh, the connective tissue proper is also divided into further types, depends on the concentration of the fibers. They have the fibers, cell, and matrix. So three things are important for the connective tissue proper. Uh, they are composed of the cell, fibers, and the matrix. So connective tissue proper, they are also of two types. Because of the composition of the fibers and the matrix. So connective tissue proper, they are loose connective tissue. So loose connective tissue, as the name indicates that loose, it means that they have the less fiber. As you can see in this diagram for the loose connective tissue, as it is the type of the connective tissue proper, that is composed of less fibers and it is, ha it is having the more amount of the brown cells and it's having the cells inside these tissues. Okay, so it has having the less fibers and more brown substances. Means the matrix is having the more brown substances and less fibers. So these are the loose connective tissue. The other type of the connective tissue proper are the dense connective tissue. As you can see that in the dense connective tissue, it is having the more fibers. For example, in the loose connective tissue and dense connective tissue is that in the dense connective tissue, as the name indicates, that dense. So it means that it is having a lot of fibers in it. As you can see, in the dense connective tissue, there it is having a lot of fibers and a brown substance is less. And in the matrix, the fibers, there are more fibers in the dense connective tissue and there are less brown substance in the dense connective tissue. So they are dense. So that's why it, it, uh, these, connective, these dense connective tissue are involved uh, in the formation of more hard uh, or organs that they are they provide the support as the structural support and strength there. So these loose uh, connective tissue proper is divided into loose connective tissue and dense connective tissue as because of the differences in the matrix. So these loose connective tissue and dense connective tissue are further divided into different tissues types depends on the um, matrix and also the cell. So loose connective tissue are divided into three types alveolar connective tissue, reticular connective tissue, and adipose connective tissue. So this loose connective tissue, it provides the strength, support, and elasticity, elasticity to the body. The other type of connective tissue is the dense connective tissue. It is also further divided into three types. These three types are regular connective tissue, irregular connective tissue, and elastic connective tissue. So this connective tissue also functions to provide that these are dense. So these mostly surrounds the organs like cartilage, like ligaments and tendons, like hard substances, like they uh, connect and uh, supports different organs, like they surround the different bones that they also provide the, uh, as the elastic connective tissue, they're involved in the formation of the arteries because they're elastic, they provide elasticity there because for the circulation of the blood and the pumping of the blood, the arteries must be elastic. So this elastic connective tissue from the arteries. 
So this connective tissue also involves, they deploy the strength and elasticity to the different organs of the body. So this was about the uh, connective tissue proper. The other type of the connective tissue are the cartilage. So cartilage, they are also, um, and this cartilage is also having the matrix and cells present in them. So cartilage, they also provide the strength, support, and elasticity to different organs of the body. And the cartilage, they also provide the cushions and they also act as a shock absorbers. So cartilage are further divided into three types, um, depends on the location and function. So these three types of cartilages are the hyaline cartilage, fibrous cartilage, and elastic cartilage. So these three types of cartilage, like hyaline cartilage, fibrous cartilage, and elastic cartilage, they're involved in the formation of the different organs of the human body. That they um, provide, they're elastic in nature, they provide strength and support. So they make up the different organs of the human body. So cartilage, these three types of cartilage make which organs of the human body. As you can see here, this uh, cartilage of external air. So this cartilage is made first of the human body. As you can see in this diagram, first of all, cartilage of external air. This cartilage, uh, it, this external air is made up of cartilage and it's most specifically it is made up of the elastic cartilage. So they are elastic in nature. And then costal cartilage and this cartilage of the nose, they are made up of the hyaline cartilage. And then internal vertebral disc. This internal vertebral disc cartilage is shown here in the red color. And uh, they and the meniscus, these are made up of the fibrocartilage. So these cartilages, as they surround these bodies, so they provide elasticity and movement. They help in the movement and they provide the structure to these. Uh, parts of the human body. The other type of the connective tissue are the bone. So bone are also the connective tissue. So bone, basically they are made up of the cells known as osteocytes. It's just like the cartilage made up of the cells known as, as the cartilage were made up of the cells known as chondrocytes. The cartilaginous cells are known as chondrocytes, and just like the bone, they are made up of the cells known as osteocytes. So these osteocytes make up the bone. So these osteocytes, these cells together, um, make up the bone, uh, make up the tissue known as the bone. So these bones are also uh, have. Um, so what are the function of this connective tissue, like connective tissue in the form of a bone? Um, they are involved in the that they provide the structural support to the body. Okay, they provide the physical support to the body. The human body is supported basically. They provide the internal framework then to the body. So this framework is basically provided by the bone, and in, uh, the bones are also involved in the movement of the human body. As between these bones, they are connected together to different connective tissues, and then. They also involved in the storage and release of calcium and phosphorus inside the bones and they are involved in the formation and different activities in the body. And they also involved in the formation of blood cells. How bone tissues uh, are these tissues are involved in the formation of blood as this blood is also contains the bone marrow inside the bone. So bone marrow are basically, uh, these are involved in the formation of blood like bone marrow are the stem cells for the production of different type of cells. The other connective tissue is the blood. Uh, the lymph and the blood are the fluid type of connective tissue. Are the fluid connective tissue? So the blood is a can composed of the uh, of fluid material, a liquid material known as plasma. It's plasma it, it acts as a Matrix. So in the plasma, different cells are embedded or present. They are the platelets, white vessels, red vessels, and many other cells. Okay. So what are the function of this fluid type connective tissue, or you can say the blood? As the blood are involved, it can consist of different type of cells, as the white blood cells. So they are involved in the immune responses. They they involve in the production of antibodies and different immunological factors. So they defend the body against infection and inflammation. 
Other important function of the blood is that they are involved as a transport vehicle for the cardiovascular system. As the cardiovascular system involved in the pumping of the blood uh, to the different organs of the human body. So how the blood uh, or oxygenated blood is provided to the different parts of the body, uh, they use the vehicle use is the blood. So the, for, to the blood nutrients and oxygen are transported to the different, uh, to the whole part of the body. So blood acts as a transport vehicle for the cardiovascular system. So what basically the blood transports to the body, throughout the body, they transport to different nutrients to the body. And they also transport the different cells as it can change the cells. So these cells are involved in the defense and protect the body against different infections. They also are involved in the elimination of waste from the body. And they also transport the exchange of respiratory gases, like they take up the uh, carbon dioxide from the cells and give the oxygen to the cells. So this was all about the different types of connective tissues as the connective tissue or, or have the connective tissue proper that they provide the structure and support to the different body organs, then uh, cartilage, that um, cartilage, they form the internal structures of the human body, and then bones, that they provide the structural support and moving to the body, and then the blood, that they are involved in the immune defenses and acts as a transport vehicle for the cardiovascular system.